Welcome to Apostolic Archive. We have gathered many wonderful sermons through the years and we have decided to share them with the world. We hope you enjoy. Please subscribe to our channel. Please like the video and comment with something you take away from this message. Also, hit the bell below so you can receive an update as soon as we upload new content. Blessings. We're hungry for the word of the Lord this morning. Amen. Let's make him welcome as he comes today. God bless you, Brother Shrek guys. Love you, brother. Thank you for coming. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. So glad Brother Shrek guys is going to be preaching tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So good to be here in the house of the Lord. Amen. Certainly, it's always a good time coming here to Rialto and being here in the presence of God and the presence of God's people. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. God truly has been doing great works in Central America. Since the last time we were here, God has been opening up doors that have been blowing our minds, literally blowing our minds. We're now working in Guatemala as well as in the country of El Salvador. The Lord has been opening up mighty doors uh, in this whole region. And it was a few years back that God called my wife and I not only to Honduras but to the region of Central America. And uh, recently, about a year and a half, two years ago, the Lord dealt with me about uh, turning my church over that we had started there in Siguatepec, Honduras, to my longtime assistant pastor, Brother Jose Ferrofino. And we have been traveling full time uh, throughout the region of Central America, training and doing the work of the Lord uh, as evangelists, training. I feel like I'm the, the, the region's janitor. Praise the Lord. Can you say, Praise the Lord? Amen. But uh, God truly has been doing a great work. We just recently had our uh, ministers and wives retreat in El Salvador. We had over 30 present there. Amen. And uh, God is truly working. We've got 17 different church groups scattered throughout uh, probably about a 50-hour driving time if you were to take a tour of all the churches. Uh, Quite an extensive area that God has been working in. And helping us to get into. And I'm looking forward to what God is wanting to do in the future. Praise the Lord. Can you say praise the Lord? Amen, amen, amen. Certainly we, certainly we appreciate uh, this church and uh, all that you do to help us to go. And uh, your support. I just want to say how much we thank you for that. Uh, appreciate your pastor, Brother Booker. Praise the Lord. And uh, what he stands for. If you would stand to your feet here this morning, we're going to get into the word of the Lord. And I'm going to be try to be anticlimactic. I guess that's the word that uh, we could use here this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so I'm, I feel like I'm the guy that they just kind of put in there to keep up the space until the real guy comes along. Praise God. Amen. I'm looking forward to Pastor Mayo preaching here this morning. And uh, But I do feel like the Lord would want to speak to us here in this early session this morning. Praise God. Why don't you just lift up your hands as you hold your Bibles. Let's just love the Lord right now. We love you, Jesus. We're so thankful, Lord, for your presence here today. We just ask of you, Lord, that you would just begin to touch us, open up our, help us to open up our hearts, God, and help us to receive what you have for us here this morning. We love you. So thankful, Lord, that you're the difference maker here today. We love you, Lord. We give you glory and honor and praise this morning. Praise God. Praise God. If you have your Bibles, we're going to get into the word of the Lord here today. John chapter 4, verse 35. I'm just going to read one scripture and we'll read some more throughout the teaching of the word of the Lord here this morning. Praise God. When you have it, say amen. Praise God. I need to set my watch here. Here's a watch right there. What time do I have till, Pastor? 10.55. Praise the Lord. Amen. John chapter 4, verse 35 says, Say not ye, or say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh the harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes, and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. Praise the Lord. Amen. I, I just want to preach and teach this morning. Amen. Before we're seated on revival is now. 
revival is now even. And this is going to be a hard thing not to get excited. And I, I want to ask you, we're not going to have an altar service. I don't feel like that that's the right appropriate time. I'm going to let Elder Brother, uh, I even forgot his name right now. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Mayo, praise God. I'm let him take that part. But uh, But I do feel very passionate about what I want to speak about, and I feel like God wants to speak about here this morning. Praise the Lord. Revival, amen, is now. Praise God. It's now. It's today. Amen. Already to harvest. Praise the Lord. Can you say praise the Lord? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let's just lift up our hands once again. Let's love him. Amen. Would you just love the Lord? Hallelujah. Would you just tell him, Lord, I want revival. Praise God. I want to be a part of revival. I want to be a part of your kingdom. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We love you, Jesus. We magnify you. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. You may be seated. I believe that this is the finest hour of the church. Amen. I've always said it, and I really believe it, that I wouldn't want to be in Paul's time. I wouldn't want to be in Peter's time. Amen. I'd want to be right now. If I could choose the time and hour uh, to be living for the Lord and working for the Lord, I would want to be living in this day and hour that we're living in today. Praise the Lord. Can you say praise the Lord? Amen. I understand that there's much falling away in different areas and all of these things, and I'm not here to dwell on that here this morning. But uh, in the midst of it all, I do believe and I know that God is wanting to send great revival, amen, upon this world. Praise the Lord. And as a missionary, I believe in revival. I believe that that is the foremost and uh, and for play, uh, uh, the foremost part for the church to take, uh, amen, is in revival. Praise the Lord. That's why the church uh, is here on the face of this earth is to have revival. Praise the Lord. Can you say praise the Lord? Revival is now. It's today. It's right now as we're sitting here and, and standing here in this church building today. Uh, there's seven that are getting baptized in our home church uh, back home. I'm excited about that. Praise the Lord. I believe in revival. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is wanting us as the church to wake up. Amen. We've got to wake up and smell the coffee, in other words. Uh, Amen. Because uh, if we're not careful, we're going to allow an opportunity to slip by us. Uh, Amen. To have uh, the greatest revival that we've ever had uh, on the face of uh, this earth. Praise the Lord. Can you say praise the Lord? Luke chapter 10, verse 2 says, Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray, and that word means ask or beseech. Amen. That ye therefore pray, ye therefore, that the Lord, or pray or beseech ye therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Praise the Lord. Amen. I just want to talk about three different things, three aspects of revival here this morning. Praise God. Revival, number one, revival vision. Amen. There's so much hunger in the world today. Uh, I get tired of hearing people say, you know what, people just don't want it anymore. I, I've been to churches and I've been to places uh, where people, uh, uh, they, they kind of talk about it that way. They say, you know what, people are just kind of uh, to a place where they just don't want to receive this anymore. And, and people are just kind of where they're not hungry anymore in this life. Uh, amen. Uh, I, I'm here to tell you there's so much hunger. Amen. There's so much hunger in this world. And, and if we could just tap into the hunger that's all around us. Uh, amen. I believe God would begin to give us revival. We've got to begin to see what God uh, wants us to see as the church uh, of the living God. Praise the Lord. Are you a part of the church? Why don't you clap your hands to the Lord uh, if you're a part of the church? Uh, amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. God has a plenteous harvest for us here today. Amen. I believe it. God has prepared the harvest. It's already there. The Bible says it's already 
to harvest. Amen. We must have a love for what God loves. Amen. We've got to begin to change our love and begin to love what God loves. And you know what God loves? God loves revival and God loves souls. Amen. That's why the church is here on the face of this earth. Amen. Is that many souls could be born and went into the kingdom of God. Amen. Can you say praise the Lord? I'm here to tell you it's not just to come sit on a pew and, and, and I know you have some of the greatest ministers uh, that ever walked the planet step behind uh, this pulpit and deliver messages from God, uh, amen, and we enjoy that and we love that and we get fed by the word of God, uh, but that's not the primary reason for the church uh, uh, to be in this world that we're living in today, praise the Lord, amen, can you say praise God, uh, amen, we've got to have a mindset and a change of vision uh, if we're we're going to have great revival like God is wanting us to have in this latter hour. Praise the Lord. Can you say praise God? Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. If we're not careful, we can miss what God is trying to show us. Amen. God wants to give us and wants us to get a vision for reaching the world. Amen. Like we have never had before as the church. Matthew chapter 16 verse 2 says... And he answered and said unto them, when it, is, uh, when it is evening, you say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. And ye, oh, ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but ye cannot discern the signs of the times. Amen. Praise the Lord. We, we, we know how to have good church, amen, but we can't discern what God is wanting to do, amen. God's wanting to fill every pew in this place, every seat in this place. God's wanting to save every person in Rialto and beyond, praise the Lord. He's wanting to save everybody in California. He's wanting to save everybody in the United States, in this world, amen. Can you say praise the Lord? Amen. It's time that we begin to discern the times that we're living in and this hour that we're living in as a church of the living God. Praise the Lord. I wonder if you would just begin to let a burden begin to grip your heart. Praise the God. Praise the Lord. Oh, if you just be let, you begin to let God begin to give you a vision, hallelujah, of what he's wanting to do in this latter hour that we're living in. Praise God. I begin to feel the Lord very strongly as I begin to study last night for this message here this morning. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Here the Lord is speaking to the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And we all know why they were called Sadducees. They didn't believe in the resurrection, and so they were sad, you see. Praise God. Amen. But, um, and that's a sad place to be, not believing in the resurrection. We're blessed people. Amen. We're a blessed people. We have that blessed hope of glory. Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You can have all the sadness you want to, but this is not my resting place. This is not my home. Praise the Lord. Amen. My home is beyond. Hallelujah. This world. Praise God. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing Jesus. Amen. Can you say praise the Lord? ¿Cuántos dicen gloria a Dios? Amen. Podemos predicar en español entonces. Gloria al Señor. I'll leave that up for tonight, this afternoon in the Spanish church. Praise God. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, you know, the Pharisees should have been the ones. He told them, you hypocrites. You can discern the days. You can discern when the, what the weather's going to be like the next day. You can look at the sky and discern it all. But yet, uh, uh, you can't discern what God is trying to do. They should have been the ones. Uh, above and beyond anybody else that should have known what God was wanting to do. Amen. And I feel like sometimes that's the way we are as the church. I'm not calling anybody a hypocrite here today. Amen. Can you say praise the Lord? I don't want to get ran out of town. Hallelujah. Amen. But uh, really when we begin to think about it, uh, amen, it's so easy for us to get caught up with uh, what's going on in life and the world and things that are happening in our lives. Uh, amen. That we begin to discern the, the day and discern the weather of what's going on around us. Uh, amen. That we forget about and we lose track of what God is wanting to do uh, in this latter hour that we're living in. Praise the Lord. Uh, amen. We got to be able to discern the time and the hour that we're living in. Praise the Lord. Uh, 
Uh, we don't have much uh, time in this world left. Uh, hallelujah. And what are we going to do? The ends of the world have come upon us. Uh, amen. The church of the living God. Uh, amen. We're going to have to give an account to the Lord uh, of what we do uh, in this latter hour that we're living in. Praise God. Why don't you just lift up your hands to the Lord right now and say, God, help us, Lord, to discern your times. Uh, help us, God, to discern what you're wanting to do in this latter hour. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. Uh, we magnify your name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, amen. Praise God. Number two is revival passion. We may get out of here a little early and let Pastor Mayo have his way. Praise the Lord. Can you say praise the Lord? Our passion must equal the harvest. Amen. If there's one thing that the church is needing in this hour that we're living in, it's a passion for the kingdom. Amen. And I know how it is. This is a fairly large church. Amen. You've got a beautiful, you're a beautiful people. But it's so easy for us to come into church and to let the quarter of the church or the eighth of the church that's doing all the pulling do all the pulling. And, and we just worry about our jobs. I'll pay my tithes. I'll be there at church. And, and, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to sit through this thing and just kind of put it on cruise control and, and allow things just to kind of flow along and, and let everybody else do it all for me. Praise God. It's so easy to get into that mindset. Uh, amen. Even as a retiree. Amen. Let me talk to you elders. So we need you. Praise God. Uh, amen. Yeah, just because you're retired from your job don't mean you're retired from the kingdom of God. God. Amen. There's still revival to happen. Praise the Lord. God still is wanting to send revival and he's still wanting to use us. Praise God. It's not time to fold your hands and turn it all in. Praise the Lord. And let the young whippersnappers take it. Hallelujah. We need you elders. We need you to show us the way. Praise the Lord. It's revival time in the hour that we're living in. Right now is revival time. Amen. Can you say praise the Lord? Why don't you just stand to your feet and clap your hands to the Lord here this morning. Let's love him. Hallelujah. Let's love him. Tell him, God, I want to be a part of revival. I want to be a part of what you're wanting to do in this hour that we're living in. I'm not going to sit on my hands. I'm not going to turn it in. I'm going to get busy for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost here this morning. You know what? God's wanting to talk to us here today. Let's just love him right now. Now, would you do that? Uh, would you just open up your heart right now to what God is wanting to do? Uh, it's time for revival already. Praise the Lord. Uh, it's, already for, it's already to harvest. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You may be seated. Amen. Praise God. I'm passionate about revival. Amen. I, I was teaching a lot of Bible studies at one point. And I always have taught Bible studies. And I just felt like God began to give me a brand new passion for teaching home Bible studies. And, and we were going through a struggle. Uh, it seemed like uh, we were just struggling in that one little town. We didn't have much else going on. And uh, I, so I just began to pour myself into the kingdom. And uh, I filled up every day of my week, Pastor Booker, I filled up every day of my week. And I began to teach Bible studies. I wore my family out. In fact, we came back to the States one year. We were so worn out and so tired of going. We were trying to pastor two churches. Uh, the one was two hours away in and, and their home church, uh, starting a brand new work uh, amen, in the capital city of Tegucigalpa, 2.5 million people. Amen. And uh, I don't have time to go into it, but we were just wearing ourselves out for the kingdom. And, uh, but I point back to that time. God began to open up the doors, uh, mighty doors for us. Uh, amen. God began to open up the doors in Guatemala. And we're now working with, uh, with three different church groups. Uh, and we've got two, uh, three brand new cities that have just opened up to us with families in those cities. Uh, and I'm saying, where are the laborers? I need the laborers. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can you say, praise the Lord. Uh, 
Amen. And uh, But I can point back to that time where things begin to open up uh, uh, when I begin to get a, a deeper passion for the kingdom of God. Amen. And and, and it's easy to, to think, well, we've arrived and, and we're here now and, and, and now we can just kind of let it cruise on. But uh, we can't stop there. That's not the will of God. Amen. We've got to begin to get into what God has wanted to do and, and let God begin to, to, to uh, uh, put a passion in our hearts. Uh, amen. To plant a passion, a new, a renewed passion inside of us. Praise the Lord. Can you say praise the Lord? Praise amen. If we're ever going to see what God wants us to see, we must begin to get a hold of God's passion to save the world. That's the heartbeat of God is to save Rialto. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Enough cannot be said about getting a burden for the lost. Amen. Do you have a burden? Now be careful when you answer. Do you have a burden for the lost? Amen. You say, well, I'm, I love God. I pay my tithes. I'm faithful. Praise God. You're not going to be saved without being faithful and paying your tithes. But do you really love the lost? Do you really have a burden to see the lost one? And so many times, you know what we say, well, that's, that's for pastor and that's for the ministry team. No, 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 my friend. You may not have a pulpit ministry. You may not have a, an authority, a ministry of authority as far as a place of authority in, in the kingdom, in the church, a position, amen, in the church. But, but you do have a, a mandate from God to win souls for the Lord. Amen. Can you say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Amen. We see that the early church had a passion for the kingdom of God. They began to sell their prized possession. I'm telling you, they went and they brought their beamers, and there's nothing wrong with having a beamer. Love beamers, praise God. They went and brought their Mercedes. They went and brought their Teslas. They went uh, uh, to uh, Pismo Beach and got their house and sold their house, and they began to pour it into the kingdom of God. That was probably the equivalent of what was going on. You know, sometimes we, we give out of our abundance, we give to God. Out of the abundance of our time, out of the abundance of what we have, we give out of abundance, but, but we don't want to give sacrificially into the kingdom of God. Don't worry, I'm not taking up an offering here this morning. Praise God. Amen. But they begin to sell their prized possessions. They begin to sell things that meant something to them. Amen. They begin to uh, take their 401Ks uh, and cash them out. Amen. And, and put them into the kingdom of God. Uh, and you can read into the passion that these people had uh, uh, for revival, praise the Lord, and a passion for the things of God. Amen. They, they continue to have church everywhere they went. They begin to have church in homes, in, in the synagogues, in the temple. Amen. They had church everywhere, under the trees. Hallelujah. That, that was their that what they ate, drank, and slept uh, and dreamed about was revival. Praise the Lord. And, and I contend with you here this morning. Amen. If we're ever going to have true revival like God wants us to have revival, amen, it's going to be upon us to begin to eat, drink, and sleep uh, what, what God is wanting us to do as the church uh, of the living God. Praise the Lord. Can you say praise the Lord? And God added to the church daily such as should be saved. Amen. Acts two forty four. And all that believed were together and had all things in common. All things common. And sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men, and every man had uh, as every man had need, and they continued daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, and did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all people, and the Lord added to the church daily, such as should be saved. Are you passionate about the kingdom of God? Amen. Are you passionate? Hallelujah. Or have you allowed other things to kind of uh, uh, just shade it all out in your life? Amen. And are you just here for the dribblings of what God wants to do? 
uh, in the church? Are you here just to receive the feel-good experience that we have? Uh, and it is. It feels good to be in the house of the Lord. You, you'll never feel better than coming out of red hot, a hot apostolic service. Uh, amen. When you've been praying through in the altar, praise the Lord. You'll never feel better than that. Uh, amen. But it goes even beyond what we're feeling and what we receive. Uh, amen. There's others outside these doors uh, that need to know who Jesus is. Praise the Lord. And if you never tell them, uh, they'll never know. No, they'll probably never come in this church. They may see it and some people will drive by and walk in the doors and get that miraculous experience of discovering who God is. And if you're here today and just walked in the doors, God bless you. There's something great for you today. God has something for you. God wants to change your life and give you a life-changing experience. Amen. But that's not the norm. Amen. It's got to be the church that's got to get a passion and a desire in their heart for revival. Praise the Lord. Amen. When the church gets a mind to work. Uh, amen. The walls of Jerusalem get built. Praise the Lord. Can you say praise the Lord? Uh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, there's nothing like a red hot church uh, that loves revival and loves the move of God. Hallelujah. Can you say praise the Lord? Why don't you clap your hands to the Lord here this morning? Let's just love him. Uh, hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Number three is revival timing. Three things. Revival timing. Many times we talk about revival as if it's something that's coming down the road or something that's coming down the pipe. Proverbially speaking, praise the Lord. I can't even hardly speak English this morning. Amen. We talk about it as if it's some future event that God is going to do someday. God's going to send revival. Amen, especially in home missions and, and in the foreign missions field. You begin to hang on to that someday. Amen, sometimes. Praise the Lord. Amen. But really, in reality, God is not a someday God. Amen. God is not a someday God. There's someday, somehow, somewhere, we don't know how this magical thing is going to happen and, and, and we're going to have revival. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen. Can you say praise the Lord? Amen. God's a right now God. Amen. God can give us revival right now in the day and hour that we're living in. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can you say praise the Lord? I begin to embrace that mentality a few years back. Amen. And God has been giving us revival in Central America. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you what, now is the time to have revival. We don't have tomorrow. We don't have next week even, praise the Lord, because the Lord is coming. Amen. His coming is at the door. Amen. And we've got to realize the time that we're living in. Amen. And realize that God, amen, is in the soul-saving business and the revival business in this day and hour that we're living in. Praise the Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. I'm here to tell somebody, amen, you got to realize the time, amen, is now. Praise the Lord. The time is not next week. The time is today, amen, in the altar to have revival. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. The time is now. John chapter 4, verse 35, Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh the harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. They're already there. It's not a harvest problem. It's not the fact that there's not people to harvest. The problem is the laborers. The problem is not the world. The problem is the church. The problem is not God because God has given us a harvest. God has placed the, the fields. He said, look up, lift up your eyes. Amen, because the fields are already, they're already Get busy already. Praise the Lord. Went just to use some uh, uh, colloquialism or however you say it. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm having a hard time speaking this morning. <laughs> Is that all right? Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. You know what? Already? Get busy about God's business already? Amen. Praise the Lord. It's, it's there. We're not waiting on God. God's waiting on us. Praise the Lord. That, that's the issue. We think we're waiting on God. 
We think we're waiting on God to begin to stir and God to begin to move. When God said, already, I've already been one to move and already been one to stir in the church. And I'm just waiting on you. Why don't you wake up already, church? I want to do something great in your midst. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you really want revival, all you got to do is lift up your eyes. Amen. The fields are already white and they're ready for a harvest. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, let's just love him right now this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The problem is us. Amen. When we get our ideas and our ideologies out of the way and the way we think things ought to be out of the way, you know what God says? I can begin to move. I can begin to stir. I can begin to have my way in the midst of my people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you say praise the Lord? Praise God. If revival is going to happen, it's when we get in line with God's timing and what God is wanting to do. We got to be willing to go. Amen. We got to be willing to go. We got to be willing to give ourselves to the kingdom. The very essence of the great commission of the church is that the church must go into all the world. You know what world missions is all about? It's God's heart's beat. And I happen to be a missionary. I love being a missionary. I love being right where it's happening. Praise the Lord. Amen. But that's got to be the heartbeat of the church. The moment we say, well, we're, we're just going to focus on right here and right now. And, and we've got our children and we got this that so we need to do. I'm here to tell you, that's not, God wants to save our children. Don't get me wrong. I'm not minimizing that. But, but we've got to begin to get God's uh, uh, vision uh, for the world. Amen. And realize that God's timing is now. Amen. We've got to realize that. Praise the Lord. Can you say praise the Lord? Matthew 28, 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I'm thankful we know the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost is Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can you say praise the Lord? Amen. I was just in Russia. In fact, elder, I don't know what y'all call elder, Bishop Booker. I don't know. Is that what you call him? Bishop Booker, elder Booker. Praise the Lord. Amen. We had a, just a wonderful time in Russia. Someone, they invited us, the trailers invited us to come to a conference over there. And uh, 144 million people in the country of Russia. And there's this, there's this one church. And, and we went to Moscow. We went to St. Petersburg. And, and, and people are walking masses, 20 million people in, in, in Moscow. They're walking down the masses are walking down sidewalks and nobody's laughing. Nobody's joking around. Everybody's silent. Just marching along. Nobody's smiling. And my heart went out to Russia. My great-grandfather was full-blooded Russian. And, and I was surprised. I flew into Russia and, I, and the, the, the feelings that I felt as I was flying in the Russia, I never thought I'd have those feelings. Amen. I, I don't feel like God has called me to Russia, but, but what I'm saying is, is that I begin to think, man, if we just had three couples, if we could just put them in some of these major cities, amen, three missionary couples that would go and give their self, amen, to the kingdom of God, amen, there's no telling what would begin to happen, praise the Lord, amen, for many years, we have 190 plus million people in Central America, and there might be 200 churches in all flavors, uh, amen, of oneness apostolic, uh, amen, in, in, in all of Central America maybe, maybe 300 at the most, uh, 190 million plus people, amen, and, and I prayed for years that God would send missionaries. I drive through Guatemala, and I'm looking at the time, praise the Lord. I drive through Guatemala, and it's city after city of over a million people that didn't have a church in it, uh, not even an apostolic church, uh, and my heart would begin to cry, and I'd pray for missionaries. Uh, finally, I had to stop praying. And God started to open up the doors, and, and I said, all right, God, here I am. I'll go. If nobody else will go, I'll go. Praise the Lord. Uh, we'll go. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Can you say praise the Lord? And God begin to open up more doors. Hallelujah. Can you say praise the Lord? We're going to have a Holy Ghost crusade in October in Guatemala City, and we're expecting a big crowd. They've been inviting people. Amen. All of our churches are bringing new people, and we're excited about what God is going to do. Uh, hallelujah. Can you say praise the Lord? Why? Because it's revival time. It's, this is the day and hour that we're going to have revival. If we're ever going to have revival, it's going to be right now. Hallelujah. Can you say praise the Lord? We don't realize how close the time is coming to a close. Amen. We're coming to a close. You can just feel it. The world is spinning out of control. Everything that's going on in this world. Amen. Praise the Lord. As of right now, there are over 7.7 billion people in the world. And the vast majority of those people don't even know this one God apostolic message that we know and love. If there ever was a day, and there ever was an hour where the church needs to get a hold of God's timing and realize that God is wanting to give us revival. It's this day and hour that we're living in. Amen. If there ever was a day for laborers, it's today. And I'm coming to a close. Let's stand to our feet here this morning. God is calling. And we're not going to have an altar call. We're just going to lift up our hands here in a minute. God is calling. But are you listening? I believe that some of the greatest missionaries, potential missionaries, are sitting on the pews of North American churches. And sadly today, the cry has been lost. And I feel like God has placed it upon my shoulders to come to the North American churches. I believe God has set up America for a reason. I believe God has given her wealth for a reason and blessing for a reason. I don't believe it was for some pilgrims. I don't believe it was for the stock market. I don't even believe it was for President Trump. And I don't say anything disrespectfully. But you know what it was for. us as a church so that we could begin to export this truth around the globe around the world some of the greatest soul winners are sitting on the pews of this church potential soul winners revival is now let's just lift up our hands to the Lord let's just love him right now I don't want you coming down to the altar just, just, uh, just stay right where you at hallelujah just lift up your hands to the Lord let's just love him right now I wonder if you allow God to begin to filter a passion into your heart God's vision God's timing is now. Hallelujah. Oh, let's just love him. Would you just lift up your voices to the Lord right now? Let's love him. Let's love him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost speaking to us right now. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Why not give yourself to the kingdom today? Why not pour out yourself for the kingdom today? Hallelujah. I want to be willing. I want to be willing. I want to be a part of the church and do what the church is designed to do. And that's have babies. Hallelujah. Let's have spiritual babies. Oh, let's love him right now. Let's love him. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. I wonder if you let a passion grip a hold of you. I wonder if you let a burden grip a hold of your heart. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm not going to let somebody else carry my load. Amen. I'm going to pick up my cross and I'm going to follow Jesus. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. I worship you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Why don't you just begin to worship the Lord right now as your pastor comes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah.